Paralympian racer Ryan Chalmers is one inspiring man, fresh from achieving his dream of racing his wheelchair from Los Angeles to New York in 71 days, Ryan joined Level 5 and sponsor Scott Tucker at Le Mans to recover. Ryan, great to see you here at Le Mans. Now, um, I know you've had a pretty particularly busy time of it, obviously competing your charity event, the 71 days from LA to New York. First of all, tell us how that sort of situation came together. Yeah, no, that was, uh, I started on April 6th and uh, ended actually this past Saturday uh, in Central Park in New York City. And, uh, you know, along the way, I got really, really lucky and I got to meet Scott Tucker, who uh, is part of Level 5 Motorsports. And, uh, you know, great guy. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's been an incredible experience so far. You know, I, this is really a nice time to have time off and be able to relax. And why not hang out in Paris and uh, enjoy? How grueling was the training for that? Oh, it was difficult. You know, I've been I've been wheelchair racing pretty much my entire life, and so I was training for the Paralympic Games in London. And after I made it back from London, you know, it, I, I changed my schedule a little bit with training, but I didn't really change it too much. I, I was talking to my coach and. You know, he didn't really want me to tire myself out too much before I actually started the 3,300 mile journey. What was the biggest challenge during that journey? Mentally. You know, mentally it was very, very tough, especially early on, the first couple of weeks. You know, the first three to four weeks of the journey, I didn't lose sight of a mountain, whether it be in front of my face or, you know, 10 miles ahead of me. And there was definitely days during there where, you know, I would start at six in the morning and not end until seven o'clock, eight o'clock at night. And so it, it makes, you know, a very, very long day. And so that's why I have such an appreciation for an endurance race like this. I, I know how it feels to be going all day. Why did you want to do this event? The Push Across America? Push Across America came through a, uh, I wanted to be able to give back to a nonprofit organization that's changed my life, that I've been a part of since 2005. And also along the way, you know, we had a great opportunity to raise awareness for persons with disabilities and really show people what adaptive sports is all about and show people that, you know, we're just athletes too, just like everybody else. How were you sort of received during the challenge? I mean, I'm assuming people came to sort of watch you at different stages. Yeah, no, a little bit. I was actually worried on, uh, you know, before we even started the push that, you know, going 10 to 12 miles an hour on a road, you know, backing up traffic sometimes, I thought people would get upset. But it was amazing how, you know, sometimes we did back up traffic for 30 cars. And then that first car driving by, for some reason, every single time, they were waving, honking at us, and, like clapping. You know, people had video cameras, taking video out their windows. And so we had great support throughout the entire time, which is really encouraging for me when I'm out there for hour number seven, hour, hour number eight. You know, it's really encouraging when people are on the side of the road just cheering you on. That must have been the satisfying moment, as you say, when they're encouraging you. Yeah, no, that's what this, all, this whole thing was all about, you know, raising awareness and really, you know, meeting people along the way. That's really what made it all worth it, what made, you know, those difficult climbs for four hours really worth it, the people that you meet along the way and the impact that you have during the 71 days. Now, meeting uh, Scott Tucker and Level 5's involvement within your campaign, what does that mean to you? Oh, it's incredible. You know, those are the moments that I'm going to remember forever. You know, people, you know, when I met, first met Scott, he really got what we were doing, you know. And, and that's really encouraging for me, too. And, you know, it, it changed everything. You know, you can go through difficult times throughout any part of the journey, but you meet people like that who really understand the messages that you're trying to give. And it really, changed, it, it really makes the whole thing worth it. It was an incredible experience to meet him. We got really, really lucky that somehow, you know, they heard about what we were doing and really latched on to what we were doing. And, and I got to go hang out with him for a little bit when I went through Kansas City, and it made it very, very memorable. Now he's brought you over here to Le Mans. This is your first experience of this environment. What's your What's your thoughts? It's so much energy. I, I, I love it here. I, you know, I went to the Indy 500 when I was actually going through the push, but here it's just, you know, so incredible. The energy that we have. I'm excited to see, you know, how long tonight I can last through this 24-hour adventure here. But uh, it's really exciting. The team's doing great. I'm looking forward, you know, a couple hours and seeing how they're doing. Well, we think you should stay up 24 hours. I'm going to try my best. Well, I don't know. We'll see. We have a couple of people that are going to you know, dedicated to doing it. I'm going to try, but I don't know. I might have to take a nap on the couch or something like that. But uh, <laughs> how much have you enjoyed the sort of hospitality um, back at the chateau and the, with the build-up to this race? Because it's such a big event. You no, know, this. I mean, it's a once-in-a-lifetime 
experience to be like this. It's incredible people, you know, every single person here, you know, loves Scott and, and you know, has great things to say about him and they're all incredible people. And so I've gotten an opportunity to meet, you know, ph phenomenal people along the way and it's just been a really fun experience for me, something that I'm going to remember forever. It's really a life, a once in a lifetime experience. Well, it's obviously many congratulations on that achievement. So what's the next plan? What have you got in store? Next, uh, you know, after I do a lot of post-push events, being able to tell the story, I'm really going to focus on Rio for the 2016 Paralympic Games. You know, going to London for the Paralympic Games and then doing this push across America really, you know, opened my eyes. And, you know, it makes me want to work really, really hard to see how well I can do in 2016 Paralympic Games. Well, we wish you all the, way, all the best with that and enjoy Le Mans. Yes, thank you very much. I appreciate it.